This week, I introduced React in my first page. That means get extra, extra, extra. the moment when uh, each sub page uh, whether it's uh, for websites applications or design will render appropriately just only when clicked and this portfolio will be single page using react <laughs> the one at which you are standing or the one at which you are sitting I use both of them but the best desk is the desk from which you stand up very often and go go out in order to stretch a bit your muscles <laughs> So making small steps 
but in the direction of progress is always what motivates me. This is how the page looks right now. Since the last week I changed the pattern uh, here behind the, the colors. I created my own pattern in this section of uh, repositories and I also added the pages that are loading here dynamically. So I chose a few applications, one website right now and uh, one example from design. I load these portfolio sub pages using React. I use routing too. As you see, the link uh, changes dynamically. Look here, we have applications, website, and design. I tried the first time to load the sub pages this way using React. It wasn't easy at first. Uh, I found a great article that helped me a lot and I also asked for some advice, um, more experienced developers. This week I was also working on styling it a bit more. So this is how it looks on smaller screens. It's fully responsive. One more thing I want to share and that I will provide link to in the video description below uh, is uh, the mockup tool, uh, the online mockup tool. You can customize uh, the final results, uh, so what size of the photo you get, um, and everything is online and you don't need to use Photoshop or any other tool. And right now, next week. So next week, next week I'm going to continue with the portfolio side. I'm going to test it thoroughly. Next week, I also get a few meetings and in one of them I will be revising and discussing my code of the previous project. Later, it will be time to come back to uh, Free Code Camp challenges.